Now the first thing you're going to do when you get our ear pads is you're going to look at the backs. And you want to look at these clips. That's one clip, two, and three. And now the important thing here is if you see this clip you'll notice that there's part of the skirting here that's almost overlapping. So if I show you, lift it up a bit. It's actually sitting over top of the clip. Now if you try to obviously install these with that in the way, they're not going to go on very easy. So what you need to do is you need to check on the back and make sure that these areas are nice and clear, like this one here. Usually if you, if you do buy these from us, we will have already removed them for you. And it will look like this. You'll see how we cut around and took the, the, the skirting off. That's to make the installation for you guys a lot simpler. Uh, it, uh, some people think that we've used them before and we're selling a used item. They're not used, we've just removed this so that the buyer will have a much easier time installing them. Now does it affect the use of these? Not at all, it's just the skirting. The entire skirting is glued to the, the back frame here and losing a little bit of skirting that was already loose because it's sitting on top of these clips isn't going to do anything to the performance at all. <clears throat> so the first thing you're going to do is here are the two pieces we're going to attach. I'm going to get the scissors and check these out. There's a little bit here that I can get rid of to make it easier. One. This one as well. Two. And the third one's fine. The second one I'm going to look at, there's only one that i got to worry about, is this one. And done. Now we've cleared away that extra stuff, and these should snap in without any trouble at all. Now we're going to look at the headphone. You can see that there's three clips or s slots I guess you could say. One, two, and three. You're going to take your headphone mate replacement ear pads and you're going to line up the clips on here with the slots on here. So right now it's going to look like that to me. That's the position that this needs to be in in order for the clips to actually go underneath those slots on the headphone. Now it's very important that when you attach these, these uh, ear pads that you do it on a flat surface so you don't want to have it in your hand like this and try and do that because these you see this little circle here that will pop out and you can see on the ends you can see the little white knob there and there's a little white knob there right in the crack and what that is is those knobs are stuck inside the frame and if you push too hard it pops out and there's a cord in there in one of those knobs that goes into the actual earphone and you can see the cord right here that cord is what sends the music to these earphones and if you pop this out it could break it and then your headphones going to be useless so what you want to do is get a cloth like what I have here put it down on a table use that flat surface you're going to hold it exactly like I have it right now you're going to get that ear pad. We're going to line it up how we need to line it up. And we're going to apply pressure to the flat surface with the cloth. So there's not going to be any scratching on the headphone. And there's not going to be any other trouble with that, uh, that, that molding popping out of the, the frame. You're going to push down and you're going to twist. Now I look here. Those have all gone in. I'm going to give it a little extra turn. It's okay to pull on the leather a bit because it is tough. 
don't rip on it, but you can pull on it a bit to make sure that it's in. That one is clearly in. You can see on the sides. Now we're moving on to number two. So the original one, we're going to pop that off. We can see all that glue here again. We're taking the new one, the head foam eight one. We're going to line it up. It's going to go right like that. We're going to push down and we're going to turn. That's on, that's on, that's on. All three are on. Now sometimes what will happen is you'll get one or two in or you'll get and you won't get all three in and what you need to do is just slightly twist back apply the pressure slightly twist back to get them slightly out and then twist again around and in and keep doing that until all three are in now the last secret to this is where you apply the pressure you need to apply the pressure through the ear pad where those slots are and these clips are on the ear pad and where the slots are on the headphones right here. So if I'm going to take this ear pad and I'm going to put it, line it up properly, there's going to be one slot right here, one of them right here, one of them right about here. So what I need to do is I need to put most of that new, that, that extra pressure on those spots while turning. Secure your headphone frame with your hand like this around it. Hold it with your fingers, push down, and twist on. And you notice how I pushed from one, two, and three. That's where the pressure went when I twisted. And now it's in. No problems at all. Headphones are brand new. And these are on much tighter. Then the originals, there's no glue needed, and these aren't going to fall off. And there you have it.